All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. It is six in the evening, a little before six, about 10 till six in the evening, boring day. It's been a nasty cold front for the last week, been up and down, up and down. Then yesterday it turned to 80 degrees. The day before that it was 40 degrees. Today it's 55, but it rained all day. So bored, it's gonna be 30 mile an hour winds the next few days, so I won't fish. So I decided to come out today to Bass Lake and we're gonna just see what we can catch, see how many species we can catch. I got minnows, I got worms, I got chatterbait tied on, I got spinnerbait tied on. I'm watching bobbers already. And I have a grub tied on. All we're trying to do is catch fish. I don't care what we catch. Hopefully they're somewhat sizable and that's it. I've already tried to go to the pocket, which is the most popular place around here. Uh, one of the three at least. You can't get close to it. My boat stuck in the sand. It took me 10 minutes to get out of it. So we're out here in the open and hopefully the wind's not too much for you. And let's see how many fish we can catch before it gets too dark. That's it. That's nothing, nothing fancy here. Let's go. There we go. Fishing secondary points, folks. There's our first white bass. Aggressive little turds, that's what the first one was too. And he throttled it. I don't even know where the hook is. Hmm. Awesome, exciting, fun fish. Just fishing a point where it goes from seven foot down to two foot, that's all I'm doing. Pretty cool, I'll take that. That's the second white, bi white, bi bi white bass bite we've had, so I'll catch those all day long. That's a good one. Much better fish. Yes, sir. Well, you never know with the white bass. <laughs> he, he hit it hard. It might not be a, that much better of one, but he's a fighter. It's a little better. Not much. Maybe an inch. Ah, ah. These things are so wild. Chatterbait. White bass. Now people, wow, he knocked himself out. That's what you get. People like to eat these, uh, not me. I've cleaned a couple and the way the meat looks, I don't trust it, so I don't eat them. I'm more of a crappie bluegill purse guy. Got one already. Yes, sir. First live bait fish in a minute. Ooh, he's a jumper. Please don't be a bass. We already got, it is. Dagnabbit, little large head. Whoa, sorry bud. Little bitty hook, all right. <laughs> We're live baiting it. Never know what you're gonna get. Hooked into a pretty nice fish here. Well, I thought it was a nice fish. It is not. However, it is the third species already. Little Walter. Little Walter Jr. Good looking fish. <laughs> I'm pretty happy about it. Not bad. All right, we'll keep throwing the old grub. Got us one. I lost it. Hopefully this is a walleye. He hit like a walleye. Yep. Hey, I'm kind of getting better at identifying what hit what. Checking my bobbers. All right, buddy. Come here. That's... A little better walleye, but still not. Not exactly what we're looking for. Good fish, little bitey guy, but 
We need a little bigger. That's still exciting. Sometimes, and I hate to say it, sometimes you get a little bored chasing nothing but largemouth. Just a little bored, not much bored. Okay, I've been bit a few times now. We'll try to record and see if one will attack it before this ba before this battery runs down. There he was. First cast after I decided to do that. I feel that feels bassy. It's fighting bassy. That's bassy. Oh. That might be the biggest one we've got in, largemouth wise. We lost a keeper, but. We're piling up the numbers. It's fun. I'm having fun out here. I mean, that's all I plan to do. It. I've fished for an hour and a half. I got maybe an hour left if I'm lucky. That's pushing it. Uh, looking at bobbers. Because I don't, I don't know the lake really well. I have to follow my graph so I don't bottom out and get stuck. Uh, the lake's really, really low. If you want to come out here, be aware it is really low. It's usually always low anyway. That's its natural state, but it's low, even from its natural state. <clears throat> Pretty cool. Let's just keep recording, won't you? That's a better fish, guys. Better fish. Thumped it. On my butt. I'm on my butt. Don't be a bass. Oh, wow. That's a nice sized fish. It's a big walleye. Well, I don't think I'll lose him. Well, this is small line. I don't want to lose him. I want to at least show the camera. That's a keeper walleye. Decent little guy. Not bad. I'll take him. Well, let's let him go. That's a keeper. Not huge, but that's our best fish of the day. If that's the last one we get, hey, that's a success. We got, what, three species? I was hoping for four or five, but whatever. That's a keeper size Walter out of Bass Lake, Indiana. I'll take it. Later, bud. He hit it hard. I knew he was better. I put one of the uh, mineral rods down. It's worthless. I'm tired of looking at it, and the live bait just hasn't been working. Ooh, that's a good cast. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, wow. There he is. Oh, he followed it. He followed it, hit it twice and followed it. This is fun. This is really fun. Sometimes when I'm bass fishing, it can be so stressful trying to figure them out. Uh, this is just plain, this is just plain fun. I, it's always fun, but this is something different for me and I'm enjoying it. Every, every time something bites, I don't know what it is, and that's kind of exciting. Oh, it's a damn perfect cast for earlier. Let's see if they're still there. That's perfection. There he is, big one. Just slowed it down. That is a big one. Oh, Walter, Walter. Hooked him perfect. Let go. Decent sized fish. 15, close. I think you got to be 16 up here to keep them. I'm not 100% sure. But pretty fish. It's hard to get at them. Hard to get in to hold them, but I'll hold them like that so they don't bite me. Uh, didn't I say we'd leave after one more? Maybe, 
Maybe just one more. Giant. Well, let me not say that. It's just so far out feels giant. It's a good fish. For sure, head shakes. That's got to be another Walter. Feels good. Don't jump. If it jumps, it's a pass. That's a good fish. Oh, it's a white bass. That's why we thought it was so good. They fight like it's crazy how good they fight. Stop moving around. Stop. We've had enough to eat these white bass. Somebody's going to have to, I'm going to have to just keep them one day and eat them. Like I said, I cleaned a couple for my parents and didn't like the way the meat looked. Ah! Anyway, that's a decent sized white. Good keeper, good eater size. Gosh, smoked it. <laughs> it almost took the rod out of my hand. That's got to be another white the way it hit. Nah, a little tiny, little tiny Walter. Just a little mean guy. That, you don't count, bud. Oh, easy. Put those down. Oh, shit. Little bitty guy. Fun. He attacked it. They have torn this grub to pieces, but they keep eating it. I just keep throwing it out there. I ain't changing it. I said decent one. That one don't really count. It's a decent strike, though. Not doing anything fancy either. Like I said, I'm kind of letting it hit the bottom and then reeling it at a speed where I know it's in the middle of the water column. We're in about four feet of water. I'm trying to keep it right at two feet. And you can tell when you get too low or get too high. Other than that, it's pretty much a straight retrieve. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm letting the lure do all the work. Letting that little tail flap, that little ribbon tail flap, and then they just come and eat it. Looks like a little bait fish, they just eat it. Simple as that. Once in a while you hit a weed, kind of give it a jerk to get the get it off the weed. Chuck and wind. That's really that's it. Nothing fancy. Chuck and wind. We're sitting right against the wind. I'm casting into the wind. The wind's really calm right now. About five, six mile an hour. I'm casting directly into it, and that's that's working. Wow, did you see that? Wow, what a hit. What a bite that was. That was maybe my best bite of the day. I don't know what it is yet. He hit it so rough. That's a good sized walleye again, folks. You know, some of the walleye guys are going to be mad at me because I've accidentally run into a nice mess of them. They're not huge, but they're all, the last few have been right at that keeper size, right? Ah, right at that size you want to clean. Sorry about your eyeball, bub. Yeah, it might be a little small, but he's pretty long, I'm telling you. That's going to be close. Awesome. Fun. Just tons of fun. And this thing has taken a beating. And I'm going to chuck it right back out there. I don't know if from the camera you guys can see about where I'm at. If so, good for you. Uh, it's a lucky little hot spot. It's not really rocket science. To find a point and fish off of it. That's got him. That's just what I do bass fishing, so I figured I'd do this. That's a nice size fish. It is a nice size fish. Oh no. Oh no. There we go. He got stuck on the uh he got stuck on the anchor rope. <clears throat> I have smoked the walleye the last hour, guys. Smoked for me. That's another keeper size walleye. I'm telling you. Right at probably 16. Meaty, fat, healthy. I don't know how many we've caught now. I know we missed a big one. I am not a walleye fisherman, but this will probably be a pretty popular video because people love walleye around here. I mean, they love them. I need one more fish. I said I was going to leave about eight fish ago. I don't know how many fish ago, but it is hard to leave when you're getting bit. It's so hard. You never know when that 
three, four pounder. I've never caught a walleye that big. It'd be awesome. They catch some big ones out of here, some. <sighs> Got smoked. There he is. Oh. He hit it again. I don't know if you can see this or you can just see my ugly face, but <laughs> it is crazy that I have found a lucky weed line. I mean, not really luck. I looked at the graph and I fished a high percentage area. That's basically what I did. There he is. <laughs> I slowed it down right where he bit last time. Whee! That's a large mouth. These little pecker head. That's not what I was wanting. Not as exciting seeing little large mouth. Seeing the white bass or the walleye is a lot more fun. And here we go. Can you even see me? It's dark now. It's freaking dark. But maybe this is when that gigantor, that gigantor decides to just bear down on you. Golly, that's a giant compared. It's way out there compared to the last couple. That's a big and a giant. Settle down on the giant, but it's a good sized fish. <laughs> Or it's a white bass because they fight better than you. Where are you at, bub? Give me a peek of you. What are you? You a good size Walter? Man, I'm just, my judgments must be this rod. My judgments are not good. It's just, a, it's a keeper size walleye. Decent. Decent. Long. Not real fat. These things don't get real fat. Hooked him perfectly. Good size fish. I don't know how many that is. I should have kept count, but there he is. Right at that keeper. Nice belly. Oof. Gnarly teethers. Look at that guy. Oof. But that's it, folks. From Bass Lake, Indiana. I'm going to keep casting a little bit, but I got to get back before it gets too dark. Uh, the goal was to come out here tonight for a couple hours, see how many species we could catch. We ended up catching three. We got white bass, largemouth, and walleye. I was hoping for a couple more. I was hoping just for a smallie and maybe a crappie, but that didn't work out. But after a cold front, coming out to the local lake that's like five minutes from my house, I think we did pretty good. So that's it. Appreciate you watching.